You... Pascal. Very... like... Clara. <laughs> Good boy, Pascal. Pascal? Based on the information gathered, it is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network so that he doesn't threaten the property or safety of the camp's residents. I know this is the most sensible option, but Pascal... How is the repair? How are the repairs going? Welcome, outsider. Thanks to Clara's hard work, the repairs were completed successfully. Oh, nice. Yes. The little fella is alive and well again. It's just that... Some parts aren't completely back to normal yet. Pascal is that his name? What was what about Pascal is it normal exactly? Well how should I put it? You Pascal! Good! I am called name! Oh look! Pascal is greeting you! It's just, his speech is still a little confusing. The examination conducted earlier revealed that the information stored in this robot's core module is incompatible with the new hardware. Furthermore, many defective networks were detected in the core module. A significant amount of muddled information with unknown content was discovered during a deep scan. Oh? Simply put, Pascal's brain is filled with junk information of unknown origin. This junk, along with hardware that's incompatible with his core, caused him to lose his ability to communicate. Fortunately, apart from the language module, Pascal is still functioning properly. However, the robot still has a 44.7% chance of malfunctioning. It's recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. Mr. Sparrow, I understand, but I think Pascal is different. He possesses a quality that other small robots don't have. In some ways, I believe he's similar to Mr. Sparrow. I can't overlook this unique quality. Mr. Sparrow, could you give me a little more time? I want to investigate this further. If we don't find anything, you can integrate Pascal into the network. Understood, Clara. I respect your wish. In the meantime, I'll make sure that this robot doesn't endanger other people or property. So, what should we do now? I'd like to recap what I discussed with Mr. Sparrow earlier. Let's begin nope. by doing exactly what we did before. Find a new shell, put Pascal's core in it, and see if the hardware is compatible. According to the analysis, Pascal's original hardware was a dire wolf or grizzly model. If we can put its core into the appropriate shell, there's an 87.3% chance that its language module will return to normal. There are all kinds of abandoned robots in the machine graveyard. Let's go take a look. It's the same old place. Everywhere you look, there are robots that have lost the ability to function. Oh. 
here it is. This is the core. I'll pack it up and take it with us. Hmm. Then all that's left is to drag the shelf back. Oh god. Leave it to me. You should take a leave it to me. You should take a break. It's okay. I'm strong too. I'll tuck the cord a little tighter so it doesn't fall out. You you're digging its core too? Judging from how active the robot was, its core isn't just scrap metal. It should be repairable. I can't let any robot go to waste if it can be repaired. So I'm going to try to fix them all. So should we fix Pascal? Or this one first? Let's start with Pascal. We found him first after all. Also, like Mr. Sparrow warned, if he's not supervised, he might cause trouble. You know, I have a large safe full of core modules that I've gathered around the underworld. Every day, I try to figure out how to repair some of them and return the robots to normal. Except, there are a lot more than Mr. Sparag and I can handle on our own. But, I'm sure I can fix them all one day. We can't relax yet. We must work harder. I can get Tribble to help us. I can get Tribble to help us. She's an expert mechanic. Really? I can't wait! Uh, I was talking so much that I totally lost track of time. Let's head back. Otherwise, Mr. Sparog and Pascal will get worried. Mr. Sparog, we're back! Welcome back! Return! Clara! Rivet! Fail! You're... Welcome back, Clara. I've completed my further analysis of this robot. Oh? What have you discovered? Conclusion. It is impossible to determine the time of manufacture, purpose, and ownership of this robot. During my analysis, I extracted the robot's serial number and searched for it in the Underworld's automaton database. According to my search, there are 32 automatons with the same serial number as this one. Even after eliminating the scrapped ones, three automatons still match the keyword description. Failure. Three. Back. Rivet one. Fail. Is it possible to narrow down the search result further? Assessing. Assessment complete. Conclusion. Search results cannot be narrowed down any further. The three automatons that match the keyword descriptions are located in Boltamerville, Rivet Town, and Forge Town. All three of these mining towns have been abandoned. And no automatons have been discovered in these three sites recently. Oh. It appears that the trail has gone cold yet again. Tempering. Tempering. Back. Back. Back to Rivet. Fire. Fire. Pascal is becoming increasingly unstable. We should change his shell. Pascal, I'm going to change your shell. Don't worry. It won't hurt. Oh no! handle it that's right this all started with me and can only end with me I'm 
Sergeant Pascal would never do anything to harm anyone. Clara, please tell me how you came to this conclusion. Pascal possesses a quality that other small robots lack. It's kind of similar to the emotions we humans have. I've only ever seen this quality in Mr. Svara. <laughs> I feel... a warmth from these emotions. I feel drawn to this quality and try to respond back in my own way. But I'm also aware that not all emotions in this world are positive. If there are too many negative emotions that go unchecked, then someone needs to step in and stop them. The only things that can stop such negative emotions are rationality and responsibility. This is a valuable lesson I've learned from Mr. Svara. Mr. Svara, I want to help Pascal overcome those negative emotions. I want to take on this responsibility. Aw, oh, Clara's growing up. That way, I won't have to hide behind Mr. Svara anymore. I understand, Clara. I support your decision. I won't intervene unless the situation risks spinning out of control. Thank you, Mr. Svara. So, let's go. Uh Pascal, who did this to you? Pain, hurt, pain, hurt, pain, hurt, hurt, pain. Clara, get away. This is a fragmentum creature. It's extremely dangerous. A fragmentum creature? What are you talking about? It's very... I've put you to this level. How is that possible? Pascal is obviously a robot, just like you. Could it have malfunctioned? It appears to be normal. Please step back. I shall eliminate this fragmentum creature. No, it's going to attack Pascal. We have to stop it. Damn it. Oh no! It seems to think we're its enemies as well! Time for the win. Show no mercy! Phew! Luckily, the patrol robot and Pascal's cores are still intact. The big fella shell is only slightly dented. Thank you for your help. The only thing that puzzles me is why the big fellow mistook Pascal for a fragmentum creature. Hmm. I can't figure it out. Well, let's not worry about that now. Anyway, I'll take this core back and examine it. Now, let's insert Pascal's core into the big fellow's shell. What? module connect connecting connection complete testing verifying all modules working connected welcome back everyone finally pascal is waiting pascal you're back to normal i said i said very specific parts oh, i almost forgot thank you for reminding me Pascal, could you please, uh, explain why you were stealing parts? Collecting parts. Returning to workshop. Workshop? Oh, do you mean the tumbling workshop in Rivet Town? Then, waiting. Repair. Follow, please. Pascal! I got... I think he wants us to follow him. I think this place used to be a restaurant. One time, I found a bunch of canned food here. <laughs> the vagrants in the camp were so happy. However, I've always wondered, the light here, why is it still on? That's a good question. This place has clearly been abandoned for a long time. That's a good question. Also, there's dust all over the place. But none of the equipment appears to be deteriorating. It's possible someone lives here? I don't think so. No one should be living here. I never saw anyone when I came here to hunt for supplies. Anyway, someone must be looking after this place. But who? Pascal? And why? Clara, welcome back! Rivet Town! Who 
Isn't it shiny? Job, Pascal, done, nice. What? Huh? Could it be? Pascal has been repairing this abandoned town? What? Pascal, repair, indeed. Waiting, been everyone. This why I've been sitting the parts. Parts, Pascal, collect, non stop. Rivet town, repair, non stop. It seems that Pascal was stealing parts because he wants to repair the town. Have you been waiting for us? Waiting, everyone. Pascal, non stop. Leave, everyone. Come back one day. Has Pascal been waiting for Rivet Town's evacuated residents to return? Have you been preparing the sound? Prepare. Been every day. Pascal, use, can, everyone return. Pascal has been looking after the town so that everyone can go back to their previous lives when they return. So, what do you bring us here? Workshop to bring here. Face Pascal secret. Parts store. Enemies not here. Place safe. Scared. No need, everybody. Ah, this appears to be the secret base where Pascal keeps the parts. Although we now know why he took them, there are still many unanswered questions. For example, why Pascal took it as a frog, frog young creature? Yeah, this this one. Why does he want to refer to town? But why is Pascal being treated as a fragmentum creature? Right. That bigger robot said that. How strange. Hmm. I wonder if we can find any clues here. Rivet Town, live, Clara. Tour, feel free, please. These pages are so neatly cut out. Oh, and they smell like geomero fuel. Is there someone here in Rivet Town doing this? Or could Pascal have collected the pages and put them together? Display to carbide dust is still functioning. This must be the result of Pascal's meticulous repairs. But the little fellow doesn't really need the monitor, does he? Hmm. Hey, those look like handprints on the side of the cabinet. Human handprints. Could this monitor have been recently used by someone? Oh. That guy forgot his name. Hmm? What's this? A diary? Wow. Such neat handwriting. No, wait a minute. I think this was printed onto the cover. Could it be Pascal's? Oh, yeah. sense now so that's what happened let me think mm, how about we go over pascal's whole story again from the start try to short out the whole story the town and local is covered and then abandoned part of it down and wait for everything to return down pascal becomes an end that is correct. So, Pascal used to be a robot guardian of Rivet Town. Pascal's backup power was activated for some reason shortly after the residents were evacuated. It woke up to discover that the whole place had been abandoned. So, it decided to collect parts, repair the town, and wait for everyone to return. But the Fragmentum is a problem. However, <laughs> for some reason, Pascal keeps getting attacked by his fellow robots because the automatons think he's a fragmentum creature. 
be Pascal gain sentience? I'm not sure, but I suspect Pascal's tormented sense of self stems from him being constantly attacked by his fellow robots. The module used to detect emotions was frequently damaged, eventually turning him into a small robot that did nothing but collect parts. Why is Pavel... That's probably what happened. Why is Pascal is to, as a fundamental creature? I don't know. I can't find the answer in Pascal's diary. Pascal, why do your peers keep rejecting you? Big sister, Clara, Dora, enjoyable, is it? Pascal, collect parts. Ready, continue. Or, wait, instruction, next. Pascal's consciousness does not appear to have returned to the level shown in the diary. Big sister, Clara, Rivet Town, President, Pascal, protect everybody. I see. Thank you so much, Pascal. You can stop gathering parts for the time being. Just stay here and wait for us to return and give you your next orders, alright? Pascal, affirmative. Be good. Wait. Let's go back to Mr. Sparrow and talk about what to do next. So, that's what happened, Mr. Sparrow. But, there's one thing I don't understand. Why is Pascal being treated as a Fragmentum creature? This robot has been repairing itself using Fragmentum contaminated components for an extended period of time. Therefore, automatons connected to the base network recognize it as a Fragmentum creature. This is a minor issue that can be resolved by replacing components. Do not worry. Oh! I see. Has Mr. Sparag ever witnessed a similar incident anywhere in the network? No. Network-connected automatons regularly clear out muddled information in their core modules. The likelihood of a robot gaining sentience beyond control is approximately 0.12%. For those that aren't connected to the network, the chance climbs to 3.23%. Oh. Please keep in mind that these probabilities are only estimates. Over the past 700 years, this has never happened in the underworld. So, don't know what to do either? Actually, I do. Contrary to popular belief, improbable events that are easily disregarded frequently result in catastrophes. Given that automatons can still develop emotion modules using their own processing power, I have a backup plan in place. Mr. Sparrow always takes all factors into account and handles problems logically. I can't do that myself yet. <laughs> so, what should we do with Pascal? It is recommended that Pascal's data be formatted and integrated into the base network. I will maintain the robot's core module and repair its hardware once it has been integrated into the base network. There is a greater than 97.2% chance that this robot will return to normal after the bad sectors and muddled information are removed. However... But... Once the formatting is complete, Pascal's emotional intelligence will vanish. Correct. <sighs> is there no other option? This option minimizes both internal and external losses. Although Clara's account indicates that the robot is relatively stable, the assessment based on the computations shows that both the risk of Pascal crashing and the amount of muddled information are increasing when it approaches 100%. I understand, but I don't think I'm ready to give up on Pascal just yet. We've helped Pascal find compatible hardware. If we can eliminate the muddled information without Damaging the sectors linked to his emotional intelligence? You know the chances of that are incredibly low, Clara. It's okay. Mr. Sparag and I can come up with a solution. Maybe there's another way. We can install a lock in Pascal's core. Clear the redundant data and locate the core sectors that are still intact. Then, we can install a, a new suite of operational programs. This suite of programs can regulate Pascal's behavior and prevent him from hurting people. With this method, we might be able to retain as much of Pascal's emotional intelligence as possible while keeping him out of trouble. If we can keep Pascal's emotional intelligence, 
I might be able to teach him to treat people with kindness. What do you think, Mr. Sparrow? This procedure is theoretically viable, but there are risks. It will not eliminate the muddled information. Additionally, the newly installed programs may be later contaminated by it. In other words, because we cannot monitor the robot outside of the network, this approach can only guarantee Pascal's stability for a brief period of time. The probability of the robot crashing again is around. And if that happens, I'll do it again. And if it happens again, I'll go through the exact same steps. I'll guide him and fix him. No matter how many times it happens, I'll be there to help Pascal. But he will forget about you, Clara. He will repeatedly forget you, as well as all the emotions and memories he has previously accumulated. His limited storage capacity will eventually become completely overridden by infinite copies of muddled information in an everlasting cycle, Clara. The challenge will be tougher than you can possibly imagine. Are you sure this is the path you want to take? There, there, Clara. There's no need to rush to a conclusion. The variable in Bellabog's fate is still here. Perhaps she can suggest the best solution. Okay. I... I trust your judgment. We trust your decision. Both have provided their solutions. Farag thinks that formatting Pascal's data and integrating him into the base's network is necessary. But doing so will deprive Pascal of his special emotional intelligence. Although it may sound cruel, this approach best prevents Pascal from posing a threat. Clara thinks she can use programming to control Pascal's behavior and prevent him from causing harm while keeping his emotional intelligence intact. However, this doesn't address the root of the issue, and it also requires Clara to devote much time and effort to Pascal. Although Clara will use Pascal's emotional intelligence to help guide him in the right direction, Pascal could still go out of control in the future. In addition, Pascal has a history of stealing, even though he never caused any harm to anyone. This is also a major concern. What is most important here? I need to think carefully and choose one solution and then persuade the other person. Uh, what should we do with Pascal? Okay. Clara proposed that you should choose Outsider. Have you made a decision about it? I understand. So... My choice will have... Okay. Have you decided... My choice will have... treat your illness. He'll help you recover. Illness? What is illness? But I scout not. Move? Recover? Health? Mr. Sparrow, let's get started. Understood. The protective programs are ready for installation. I hope I made the right decision. Is it done? The programs were successfully installed. The robot will require offline maintenance and will be unable to communicate for some time. We can return to it later. I see. In that case, let's go back to the base. I think it's over. I'll check in with Clara later to see what's up. 